Enemies behave more aggressively, enemy attacks are much stronger, enemies and items appear in different locations. That sounds hard, so I'm going to go in with a bit of an advantage. I have done some grinding between this video and the previous video. Most of the records have now been knocked off, except for the ones involving the 2 hour speed run and also S ranking things. And also the one where we need to kill loads of zombies here. We need to kill 2,000 enemies, I'm up to 1,060. I knocked off all of the kill trophies, or records rather, for the handgun and the assault rifle. I basically did the siege with Carlos. For everything else, which was the magnum, the shotgun, and the grenade launcher, what I did is I went to the warehouse as Jill, where you have to pick up the three fuses, and basically just grinded those 14 kills over and over. And that has let me get all the points for this stuff. But unfortunately, I'm still a long way off um, getting 2,000 kills. And that's really the last one that I'm going to get after I've completed it on Inferno, because we'll complete it on Inferno, but we're still going to be short on kills. Either way, I have a shit ton of points. I am purchasing that. That is not optional. Purchase weapon can be found in the item box in-game. Cool. I am purchasing the two hip pouches, and that's going to make things much easier. I'm not going to touch any of the other weapons, even though I know some of them are quite fun. Uh, it's not going to help us get the Platinum. Now I'm sort of in two minds as to whether or not I want these. Because thinking about it and looking at the speed run earlier today, I don't think these are actually going to help much. At best, I can use the bolt cutters to get the shotgun early and maybe a grenade or two, but we've got a rocket launcher. So, you know. Uh, what I might do instead is I might purchase the coins. And this guy. That doesn't leave us with enough to purchase both the lockpick and the bolt cutters, but honestly, we should be fine. We're not going to be crafting. Uh, you know what? There's no reason not to do that. I have enough points. Uh, how do I... I literally just went through the screen and said what to do. Shit. Um, I'm hoping it just shows up. Nope, there we go. Costumes has been added. Use this option to change characters' outfits. Yes, please. Uh, DLC bullshit. Yep. Let's put on that classic RE1 uniform. Alright. New game, nightmare mode. Gonna quickly make our way to the item box and clutch that rocket launcher like it's our best friend. So as I understand it, the items, the key items are not changing positions, but some of the other items will. Things like the gems that open the um, thingamajig in the railway station where you can use the three gems. I do want to find where those boxes are and which one has the emerald in it so that I can get the hip pouch. Look at that, that is, of course, assuming that the hip pouch gives me the, um, hip, the emerald rather gives me the hip pouch. If not, then what I've the got problems. Is that thing? But yeah, this one's all about preparation for Inferno. Gotta get out of here. What the hell? No way. Okay? 
What was that thing? Tamed if I know. I'm just watching that because um, it's very clear on the first playthrough this was not running at 60 FPS, especially in the cutscenes. And I thought that might have been a stylistic choice just to reduce the frame rate a bit, but no, this is actually running at 60. And me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Super curious. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! God damn it! One sec, my tablet just crashed, so just restarting that now. Okay, we have a new enemy there. That's someone I need to watch out for. I do want to grab the, uh, I shouldn't have reloaded that gun, that was a huge mistake just there. I do want to, um, grab the, um, handgun ammo in preparation for the final boss. That's about the only thing that I want to pick up, in addition to healing items as well. Well, I could potentially shoot these guys, couldn't I? Don't know if it'll help or not. Alright, so I've got to get past these two, which could be a problem. There we go. Again, an incredibly engaging QCE. We're not listening to Carlos say hey fuckface today. We don't have time. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? No. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it, but it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. Damn it. Tried to get him to nudge me along, but that's not happening. Alright. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Head up to street level where we'll open a box and grab a rocket launcher. The other thing I need to figure out on this run, apart from where all the enemies are... Jill? I'll talk about that radio call in a sec. 
is I need to figure out where my save point's going to be because I believe I can save five times for Inferno. Hit patch. Nightmare just straight out gives me the Magnum. That's uh, interesting. Did not know that. Well, I probably knew it, but I don't remember it at all. Right, where is the other hit patch? We could open that if we had the lockpick immediately. No, really, where is the other hit patch? It's right there. Okay, never mind. The game's just handing them out like candy. Alright. What do I need and what don't I need? Don't need that. Healing will be handy, I guess. I need the infinite rocket launcher. A recoilless rocket launcher that fires 84mm projectiles. The piercing power of the rocket causes more damage than the explosion. I don't believe that for a second. Alright. We may as well grab all of this. And that's pretty much GG. I do wonder if there's a hip pouch in there now. We'll find out, I guess. Maybe this will put me a bit closer to uh, the 2,000 kills that I need if there's a lot more enemies around the place. Oh, wow. Their bodies are deformed from the previous rocket. Cool. I assume all of these dudes are playing possum. Yep. Anyone up here? <clears throat> Don't mind me, my throat is a little scratchy. What about in here? Any changes? I imagine this is still the same gun size. But things do move. Okay, that can stay there. Don't care. Okay, this guy's gone. From memory, he is very close nearby. Also, just confirm. Yep, there is definitely no friendly fire or splash damage. Alright, so we have one inside the pharmacy, which is the... The Emerald. The guide that I looked at for the uh, assisted run trolled me. It told me that the Sapphire was a hip pouch. It lied. I'm thinking the Emerald is going to give me the hip pouch, so I need to test that. I need to grab this. There should be no real need to go into that room, but let's just get rid of you anyway. And you. I'm not going to get to 2,000 kills on my own. So if we had the, uh, the lockpick, we could break into... And the bolt cutter. We could break into that and that already. And that's making me wonder, perhaps, if uh, something is behind one of the lockpicks. Like another box. Another jewel. Hmm. 
We'll find out soon, I guess. Anyone in here? Yes. I really don't often need a healing. I'll drop that. I mean, if I get hit, I'm going to slowly regenerate. Unlike these dudes who are, you know, very, very dead. Yeah, let's just go switch the power on, shoot Nemesis with a couple of rockets, and then we'll explore uh, the areas with the lockpick and the bolt cutter. Speaking of... Here's something out to my left. Just around here. Not sure if it's the uh, generator or something else. It's the generator, never mind. Yeah, so about the radio calls. Apparently, while they're going on, the in-game timer is not moving. And for Inferno mode, what I'm going to need to do is get it under two hours. So, what I might do is end up listening to a lot of those radio calls, rather than skipping them. Got another green in the box, so I might as well grab that. Is there a hip patch here? There is not. Okay. Good to know. Oh. 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 Smells like. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Nothing in here. Uh, would be nice to grab, but I don't have the room right now. It's fine. We'll pick up plenty more handgun bullets along the way. Alright, examine that. And then we can use it straight away. Not sure how this part's gonna play out. Good, bad, or otherwise with all these fucking bugs. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, I think if we just fire it at our feet, Quake 3 style, that's probably going to be safest. Damn it. 
I hear them. This takes a little bit too long to get the aim off. Oh god. Poisoned. It's fine, I have the herbs, I can deal with that. Just uh, please wait while I'm vomiting, thank you. Very kind of you. Funny everyone at work was so kind. So, Inferno mode, I don't think that would be too bad, famous last words. All that leaves is the main power switch. I'm very worried about that part though, because unless I want to make a save here, I would have to um, start from the beginning and then head back here if something goes wrong. I think we'll be okay though. Uh, yeah, we'll just go in with that. We should be right. Again, famous last words. Yeah, so while this is going on, the in-game timer is not moving. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Unfortunately, all I can tell you is that it's somewhere in the area. You don't even know a building? That's helpful. Thanks, partner. I try. Not your partner. And now the timer restarts. So, it's actually quicker as far as the in-game timer is concerned, to listen to those calls and let them play out. I won't be doing it for Nightmare, but I'd definitely be doing that for Inferno. So I think I need every little advantage that I can get. I'll drop that gunpowder in a sec. Oh, nice dodge. Two. Okay, he's down. That's going to drop the handgun part, which I have no interest in. Which I actually can't drop. Okay, so those two zombies mean that I need to get Nemesis down or I need to do a log dodging. So I'm not going to have enough time to rocket launch them and move on. Alright. Uh, first aid kit, I believe. First aid spray, rather. Sorry, I got that wrong. That's terrible. Alright, drop that. Might as well drop that. Uh... Yeah, we need to hang on to everything else. I will grab that and put it in the box. Just save that for later. And now it needs to explore a bit. Oh shit, did not see you and again I went for the circle dodge. I still think I'm playing Elden Ring. Hopefully that puts him on his ass for a bit. Ah, uh, Magnum Ammo. Couldn't remember what that was. Uh, nothing in here apart from two mag bullets. Okay. What about in here? I'm just clearing the area out and disposing of what I don't need. That's blue, so there's nothing in here. Okay. Well, Nemesis is coming here. I 
prefer it if I didn't find out, just quietly. Uh, so where would the last box be? There's going to be one in the subway office, I'm pretty sure of that. It might be here. Hand grenade, okay. It's not just lying around here randomly? No. Alright. Uh, what about down here, perhaps? Uh, this is either an ambush or... or something's changed. And now I've got no room. I need to head back. Okay, so the sapphire is in the corridor next to the subway station. Hey, dude. That may have actually hurt because I took out the barrel. It did. Gonna quickly make some room just in case. Still on caution. It's the last box in here, because if not, I'm going to have to go wandering around for it. Or, you know, I could just look it up. It's not there. Lots of hand grenades. It is not in there. There is another box in the next room, and there's also the box where we started. Shouldn't have picked that up, that was a mistake, but whatever. I can discard this now. Carlos, I'm in the control. Shotgun shells. Definitely don't have my inputs on that, right? Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Okay, we get an auto save because we're still playing on Nightmare. What the fuck? Okay, the guy at the door there doesn't spawn. Where would this last box be? Just having a look around, it's not there. It's not out on the street here. We explored the donut shop. Haven't explored that area terribly thoroughly, but I think we're good. I haven't checked out this area up here, but it seems unlikely if you ask me. That's the only other place where I think it is. Let me just do a very quick check. Uh, E3 Imitation Ruby. The red jewel is in the safe room at the donut shop. That is if we're playing on normal difficulty. Okay, if I type in the word nightmare, does that change things?
Nightmare Inferno, all jewel locations. It's making me look at the video. God damn it. Might as well grind up a few kills while we wait. And also take damage in the process. Okay, so the green jewel is inside the pharmacy. I know that. Whoa. Alright, are we all dead? Good. The blue jewel is the alley behind the donut shop. And the red jewel is inside the subway power station. Holy shit, I was not expecting that. Okay. I have a problem. I think I will go back for it, just for funsies. Because let's face it, me just wandering around shooting everything with a rocket launcher just isn't terribly interesting, and Inferno is going to be the same thing, except I'm going to be trying to speedrun it. This is really the last opportunity that I have to make this game interesting. It's in the power station, are you serious? Yes, I know that, but we missed something, Jill, and we have to go back for it. That's how these games work. All blue run and all that. I actually don't know if we can get back in here. Trying to control control Jill with my left hand and use my tablet with my right hand, and neither of which are working out very well. Just trying to get the map up on the substation so I can see where it is. More dickheads. I'm still trying to get the map up. We're going to die here, aren't we? On the plus side, I'm getting a shit ton of kills. Uh, where is this thing? Where is the map? Alright, apparently it is right there. We went straight past. Hopefully the range on that is good enough that it's actually taking them out. Alright. That one's got the ruby in it. Once again, Twitch on my tablet has decided to crash. Actually, no, it's doing that because I brought up YouTube on the tablet. Oh boy. I can barely talk and play games at the same time. Trying to manipulate a tablet at the same time is impossible. Absolutely impossible. Come on. Joel, get down there, please. There we go. Let's see what these gems do. Out of my way. 
I take until he's down when the rocket goes straight through him. Alright. Let's see what we've got. Hang on to the lockpick for a bit longer. Drop the shotgun, drop the bullets. So, the pharmacy and the alley. And this one is on the crit pass, so we can't miss this one. What are these going to give us? Same things, really. So, the crit path is a grenade. Blue one is the alley, which is going to be the shotgun parts. Damn, okay. I thought these would change as well. Hopefully this one gives me a hit pouch. Hopefully. There we go. Alright, ditch those. We absolutely do not need those. So if I just make a quick trip to the alley down the left hand side when I'm going for the um, for the subway station inputs, I can grab two more inventory spaces if I think I need them. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. I think that was framed perfect again. Not sure if that stopped him though. Let's open you up. There's nothing useful in here, correct? Apart from maybe healing. Okay, that hip pouch is still there. I'm thinking it's worth going for that if I need the additional healing on the final Nemesis fight, perhaps. As for the sewers though, I don't know why I'm going this way. Um, I do know that we can skip the office and we can skip the grenade launcher. We're going to get given that before we do the Nemesis fight. Oh, I'm definitely burning these clothes. And I don't think it's essential to have anyway. So we're just going to go straight rice. No gammas. That's new. Oh, there we go. What the fuck was that? That's a one rocket launcher shot appears to be able to take it out, even when it doesn't have its mouth open. I need that. Anything else that's useful in here? Well, that was an explosive, if I remember correctly. Do we have gammas now? Yes, we do. Thought he might have iframed through that, but no. Okay, up here to our left, where I think another one's going to jump out at us. Damn, that water texture on her clothes looks really, really grace. And no, I'm not trying to sound creepy by saying that. It actually looks really good. 
Really lovely attention to detail, Capcom. Okay, anyone in here? No, good. Gamma? So it's a case of do I go down there immediately or do I spend about 30 seconds doing this to get two more inventory slots. Guess we'll find out at the end of the game whether it's worth it or not. Apparently that's quicker than just um, walking up the stairs normally. But I'm not a speedrunner, so I won't be doing that. It can use weapons. Anything in here? I don't think so. Explosive. Healing. Otherwise, it's a straight run up to the top. I didn't realize I was carrying the lockpick throughout all of that. Holy shit. Alright, fine. I think it actually did take out that last guy with the first rocket. That's some nice splash damage. Up there, Jill. Okay, first major boss battle, and this, I believe, is where I need to make my first save. I could maybe make a save earlier, but from what I've read, you then need to get past the rocket dodges after this with no save point in between. Can I actually just take you out by... Of course I can. At least I hope I can. There we go. Not sure if it still obeys the mechanics of needing to take out the tank on its back or not. Whether we're actually hitting it or not. Grab my favorite set of bullets. <laughs> One question which I don't remember, which we'll find out very shortly, I guess, is does Carlos get the rocket launcher? I know he won't start with it, but can we get it as Carlos? They did. If you're heading to the station, take that service. 
Presumably during that cutscene, Jill Valentine also wrote the letter, which we can find in Resident Evil 2. So that's something that was added in a patch after launch, around the time for RE3's release. Yeah, we get an autosave here, but we don't get an autosave. There's a typewriter in Kendo's though, isn't there? No, there isn't. There isn't. There's a typewriter before the boss fight, but there isn't one in Kendo's. Okay, that's where we have to make the save. And then if we die during the next section, we need to load up there and do the boss battle again. Because, yeah, I'm very worried about this part. Even though he's stunned, he's going to get uh, cutscene immunity here, and then wake back up. That's really close. And on Inferno, it's just going to get faster and much more difficult. Either his rocket was better aimed or his rockets are special. Take your pick. This is insane. I also don't know if that moves faster on high difficulties or not, but I'm not taking any risks. Where is he? That shadow. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, uh, you'll be safe. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city. Interesting. It's fine by me. It does recognize the bottom of the gates as a solid object, but the rest of the gates is transparent. Alright. Let's see if we can screw up the RPD section. And let's see if Carlos has the rocket launcher. Alright, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. I immediately realize I shouldn't be wasting all this ammo if um, Carlos doesn't get the rocket launcher. He's not dead or... Oh, he's not giving us the ID card. It's open. Right, let me have a look over here. Brad does not drop the ID card. This could be important, which is why I'm taking my time to look. Uh, nothing new in 
There it is. It's down here. Cool. All of this is moot if we get the rocket launcher. Oh, shit. Alright, fine. Got some actual gameplay in the nightmare run rather than just, you know. Oh, shit. And now I'm fucked. Alright, fine. Fall over and do not get back up. No, just assault rifle ammo, nothing useful there. But yeah, one bite into danger. Hopefully Carlos gets a whole bunch of stuff. If not, we might be screwed. We might legitimately be screwed. I don't know. But this is why I'm recording this and making a tit of myself. Care. That's a positive sign. Two hit pouches right here. That probably means our intel still worth a damn than bards in the We're okay. Office. We are safe. Alright, let's grab all this stuff. Physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. That's curious because Carlos can't actually do a perfect dodge. He can do a shoulder charge, but that's about it. Find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I located the stars off. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Oh, we get a free heal out of that. We either get a free heal or that was long enough to actually recover the health. Once again, interesting. Don't need those. I definitely don't need the additional the hit patch in the safe, but I'm going to go for it anyway, just to see if anything changes. Couldn't have been army. No one coming through there, no Let's good. Uh, go. Oh, it comes in here. Okay, that's different. I can't imagine anything significant changing in here. I just can't. T, you... Okay, do we still have six zombies out here? They've moved around a bit, but they are still here. Uh, it could be worse. Could be the cops shooting people. Hang on, that's uh, kind of a touchy subject, isn't it? Ignore I said that, please. Okay, that's for our rifle, which we do not need. Anything new in here? Nope, still the hip patch. I'll grab that. Just in case.
The explosion over there was enough to hit this thing over here. And yet the description of the rocket launcher says that the piercing power actually hurts more than the explosion. Which, honestly, I don't believe for a second. Okay, that one doesn't wait around the corner, it just comes straight out. Oh god! Is that death? Not quite. There's two of them there. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, I see someone ahead of me. We'll just put in 104. That's the only one we need. Let's have a quick look in the other lockers though. Grab that herb. So 106 is just bullets. 109 is a hand grenade. Let's grab you. So no one comes behind us this time. Never mind. Kind of a resistant door. Just looking at inventory space. So we're going to go upstairs and grab a first aid. Going to lose the stars card. We don't need the stars card, I think, unless there's something incredible in the last case. No one in here. No, good. Another herb. I think that's just ammunition. Even worse. Itself, go slowly through that room. Palehead! Holy shit. Palehead's are starting to show up here, so we've got a first aid spray there. What's ahead of me? Two pale heads with those alpha things sticking out. That's uh, not good. Right, I'm just going to accept that there's nothing down that corridor other than the assault rifle ammo. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Apart from the healing, maybe? No, there's nothing useful in here. No. Nope. So we can safely ignore the card. Flash grenade. Healing, I'll grab that. There's a red herb here as well. So apart from stocking up on healing and then stashing it, I don't think it's necessary to grab the hip pouch inside the other office. It just doesn't seem like it's worth the time. Because that should be enough to get us through the hospital. Should be more than enough. Alright, let's get out of here and switch back to Jill. I do not know if we need the mine rounds. I really don't. And to go directly along with that, I don't know if we need the grenade launcher. But yeah, if you didn't grab it earlier, the grenade launcher is right here along with the shotgun. 
I'm going to make the assumption that I don't need the grenade rounds. We do have an auto save nearby, so if something goes wrong, I'll just load. I should have another full heal upstairs anyway. Okay, who do we have here? Same dudes? No, just more of them. You alive? Well, if you weren't, you're definitely dead now. Uh, yep. They just move around a bit. They're no more or less difficult. What the hell was that? I have no idea what the hell that was. Okay, there's no one up here. I won't bother with the handgun bullets. Red herb. Yep. Okay, I don't think we need the grenade launcher. Just a thought. Uh, uh, just think there's anything useful I can grab here. Apart from handgun bullets and healing. Nah. Just no. to Carlos. Be okay. I promise. Yeah, I think that's all we really need. I can pick up more healing on the way back. Five zombies? No. If you're getting any background noise there, I apologize. I think someone's playing some music in the background. I could hear something and I thought it might have been ambient noise coming out of the hospital speakers or something, but no, it's coming from next door. I'm not sure which direction though. I'm not sure if the microphone's going to pick that up or not. It just seems like very tonally inappropriate music for a Resident Evil game, that's all. Which is the only reason I'm bringing it up. Uh, we have to go into the courtyard. Honestly, I'm not all that interested in checking out the other rooms to find stuff. The key item that I need is down here, I hope. Right in front of me. There you are. Although I didn't pick up the cassette player. Was the cassette player there? I hope the cassette player was there. Wake three strats, shoot for the walls. Or shoot at the feet. Okay, you asked if I was going to get up at this time, or later? Uh, 
All right, now this locker here has the ID card. Okay, it sounds like they're actually getting up outside. Yep, rocket launch is doing work. Do we still get the cutscene even though we've already fought a hunter? We do. Hey, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. What have we got? Liquor behind the counter. Nothing new in here. Nope. Sounds like there's something outside that door there as well, in the form of either a liquor or a hunter. I'll head in there. This room is vacant, which is uh, interesting. All right. Just carefully open the door. Fire a couple of rockets. Which will clear the room. Grab the cassettes. And yeah, I hope the player is down there and I just walk past. Yeah, it is. Good, good, good. Follow the same routes. Is that a herb on my left? It is. I'll grab that. I suppose there's anything nice in here. Casually bring in a rocket launcher to the surgery, but you know, there's grenades and shit in here already, so it's not that out of place, really. I'm not a monster. I'm just in America. Alright, let's grab you. Interact with you. I need to combine that with that. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Barr. I'm the best biologist you'll ever... Tell me more. Bard. Tyrell. No, even with that, we can't mutilate his corpse. Alright, do that. Grab the vaccine. Yeah, the lighting looks completely different with ray tracing mode on. It looks like the walls are like shimmering. Not a fan of that effect. It looks ex acceptable here, but with the ray tracing turned on, it just looks really fucking weird. Anymore? some healing even though I don't think I'll need it. This is pretty much why I picked it up. Okay. Now I think 
all I need to do is just stay behind the counter and serve up the customers as they come through the windows. Unfortunately, this is all on a timer, so we just got to wait it out. It's about five minutes, I think. Anyone else? Does anyone need to visit our establishment today? Yeah, I don't think they can take animation until they're actually halfway into the climbing animation. Like, if they're outside, I can hit them and they won't take damage. Come on. So apparently we don't even need to enter that room. We can just wait out here. But I'm going to anyway because there is a hip pouch. And you know, just seeing all that space is so indulgent. I just need to see it on this playthrough. I won't do it on Inferno. Similar to the way that we don't need to actually plant a um, explosive on the pillar. Unless we want to progress, we just shoot everyone with rocket launchers until the cows come home. We also don't need to go into this room to play with the breaker because everything will just proceed without it. God, those things are moving so slowly. Actually, I need to be careful here because a hunter is going to spawn somewhere. Not sure where. Didn't see it coming. I think we are good. Just pick this thing up. Gotta do this at least once. Yeah, I'm very aware of that, don't worry. I'm guessing that is the fastest way to get to 2,000 kills. 
You just sit there and hold the two buttons down and you listen to Tyrell saying, knock down the pillow with the explosive, ad nauseum. Because that's what I did a lot of last night. So I just basically sat there and respawned this place and respawned it and just shot all the dudes with the assault rifle until I got to 400 kills. All right, back to jail for one last time. One oh eight. Uh, I mean, I have been piss farting around a bit on this playthrough, so time I think is looking reasonable. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of it. Storage facility is underground, beneath this hub. I've lost contact with Carlos. That's trouble. I don't think there's anything in the hospital that we need. Apart from grenades and the magnum, and you know what? We've got a rocket launcher, so it actually doesn't matter. Okay, power head before we reach the warehouse elevator. This must be the way underground. Probably going to take Jill. All right, let's grab that. And this was the other area where I grinded all of my Magnum shotgun and grenade launcher kills. Rasko just ran through here, taking out the pal head, the crate full of zombies, the random zombies around the place. Slow and arduous, but he got the job done. I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. You think this is over? I can hear something down on my left. But maybe I need to fire a rocket preemptively to take out this gamma. Good to know. Uh, dogs? No dogs. I've got a gamma in that crate that I could attack from above. That dude is still there. Okay, what or who do we have in the crates here? That sounds bad. Crate number one is empty. Just a gamma. A gamma and four dogs. Alright. The rocket launcher works just as well against the gammas as it does the dogs, against the zombies, against everyone else in this game, so it doesn't really matter. But it's interesting that there's actually less enemies in here compared to standard mode. What about here? 
Same three. Uh, you're not getting up, I hope. Just making sure. Okay, one hunter on normal. I've got an awful feeling about this. All right, here goes. I framed through. Sound like there was another one there. He I framed through the first shot. That is that is a huge concern. That is almost making me wonder if I should make a save here. I think I should. Honestly, nothing really has seemed like a challenge, but that iframe concerns the shit out of me. Okay, they're not getting up. This is still the barrel, isn't it? What was he doing in here? Yep. This way. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Oh, I tried. You got my back away from back there, and now you're dead. How much space? Okay, so at this point, we can dish lockpick, even though we haven't used it for everything. The game does recognize that it no longer serves a purpose. That's good. I have no idea what that other zombie just said or where it was, but that sounded really weird. Even by standard zombie standards. Is there someone alive over here? There is. Alright, so there's two up here. Head in here, we've got a bunch of pale heads in the next room unless something has changed. Okay, we definitely need to clear out that room before we go inside. Gypsy Claw, how are you doing? Thank you for hanging out as always, dude. Appreciate it. I might be able to use this to synthesize the vaccine. That was definitely a dead body on uh, standard. There was a body in that corridor there that you couldn't shoot. Now it's an alpha. Oh, I won't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm doing alright. Doing alright. Just trying to blast through this as quickly as possible. And up next is Inferno mode. Alright, no one else here. That's good. Wonder if that guy's going to get back up. Who do we got in here? 
Very nice. Okay, grab that, combine it with okay. that thing. This looks like I can use some vaccine development. What do we have downstairs? Just the same three hunters? First one is the second, then the first, and two more behind us. No, we got more. All five of them come out. Overkill much? Safe point, maybe, before I go in there. I can save five times. That much I do know. dead bodies and they're definitely not getting up under any circumstances. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Alright, you go in there. Medium high. Grab that thing and then we've got some more incredibly engaging QCEs to do. Just holding up on the left analog stick. Ah! Alright. I don't believe there's any value saving here unless something goes badly wrong in the next battle and we'll know very shortly if that's the case or not. Let me take my handgun, and I've just realized I should have picked up the handgun in the hospital before I left. What in God's name is this place? That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. Right, the final battle may be a bit of a pain. Jill, is that Can we just go past the mechanics? Oh, that you either I frame that or I missed. No, you're okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, that was super weird. There are several rockets that went straight through him because he was preparing to jump up. And then he ran off, getting ready to jump up, or in that animation, I managed to interrupt him with the rockets, and then I was able to take him out. But he can just straight up iframe when he's doing that raw, when he's thinking about um, his phase transition. Hmm. I don't think we need to make a save there, but we should be right. Nikolai, where did you go? I have to get that vaccine back. But I absolutely have to make a save here because this next part is going to be awful. How are we looking for time? 121. So I can speed it up on Inferno significantly, and we've got about 40 minutes. 40 minutes to do this part. I still have nightmares about this part. Pun not intended. This part is awful. Because yeah, the rocket launcher splash damage, I don't think it's any good for taking out these pods. I'll give it a go once or twice, but it's going to end awfully. Shit. Not paying attention. Yeah, just like that. Okay, the rocket launcher does work. The rocket launcher does work. Yeah, this guy moves fast. 
And uh, he does a lot of damage. Pretty much if you don't hit the dodges, it's over. This is a Far Cry from Elden Ring. Far Cry, is that a pun? I mean, it's similar in that I occasionally get the dodge button confused with uh, circle instead of R1 in this game. But otherwise, yeah, they're pretty tonally different games. Yeah, Inferno mode, this is awful. Absolutely awful. He recovers so much quicker on both Nightmare and Inferno. Nice. Yeah, I'll try kicking the back one. Probably too late for it though. Did I finish Elden Ring? I finished Elden Ring Tuesday last week, I think. Elden Ring is done. I still gotta start editing footage and stuff, but um, yeah, it's well and truly done. Just like that. I was mashing triangle to get into the menu and I couldn't do it because I was in hit stun. Yeah, this unfortunately, I think it's going to be the longest part of this playthrough. Right, so we don't need the handgun by the looks of it. Like right now, I just went to block his attack by holding L1. That's how... That's how much Elden Ring has influenced my mind. down? No. Okay, now he's down. Let's just heal and make a run for the back one. Check the VODs. How did I find the end? It's a really good game. A bit confused by the ending, as I am with all the Souls games, but yeah, it's a really, really good game. I think in terms of content and... Let me dodge, please! Holy fuck. I get hit once and that's it. Um, I think in terms of content and tone and all the rest of it, I think it's the game that they wanted Dark Souls 2 to be. Except, mechanically, it's much better than Dark Souls 2. And the art style and the world building really does carry it. Damn! Did not see that one. Or that one. And I'm gonna get fucked up now unless I dodge this. Okay, it's down. Don't know if we can reach that though. Yeah, this boss battle is awful. Oh, I dodged that. Come on. There we go. Mashing buttons. Yeah, if that was Inferno, I'd be dead. There's one more. No. I thought I had that. No, that's it. No, that's not quite it. But look how much healing I've used just to get into the second phase. Isn't this the case with all RE games? You're in the final boss? There's nothing like this, man. 
Listen, I think there is. Unless you're talking like six or seven or... No, sorry, five or six, and we don't talk about either of those. Dude! I'm not even seeing the attacks. I'm not even seeing it. Uh, how are we looking at for time? We're fine for time. Cheap as fuck, yeah. This boss is an absolute nightmare on Inferno. But this is. He's also eye-framing through that first rocket there. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Yep, that's it. Done. I think I dodged on the exact frame that he hit me. I hit the button, and... I don't want to blame input lag, but I need to dodge a little bit sooner than that. But even with this thing equipped... The window is very, very narrow. Let's give it another second or two before we shoot that one. There we go. Yeah, so we definitely don't need handgun ammo for this. Get that one. Didn't even see it. Smashing buttons. Okay, it's down. What if there's any benefits of partially pushing them in? But not actually fully pushing them in. Do not take that sentence out of context. Screwed up my dodge. Uh, is he going down? He is. Get over there, Joe. Tell me about it. Jesus. The worst part is, it's worse on Inferno. And there's actually a much worse part to this. If we screw up the next part on Inferno, which I think I did on my first playthrough, on. you've got to do that battle again. Do we get an auto save here? I'm pretty sure we do. Right as we're at the top of the elevator. We're not going to get it on Inferno. I know that for a fact. Yep, okay. Auto save there. I'm trying to fire my rocket launcher and it's not working. Okay. 
It's at the bottom of the elevator. Yeah, I just want to see, like, if I aim... Yep. I've actually got to aim at him. Damn. I totally pulled the trigger. I just wasn't aiming anywhere near you. Yeah, I'm fully expecting that to happen on my Inferno playthrough. Because I'm very terrible about video games. Okay. Very bad, very terrible, no good. Horrible at video games. Yeah, I don't have to actually have it trained on him. I shot a little bit to the left there, but hopefully that doesn't go wrong on Inferno. Emphasis on hopefully. And we should unlock a whole bunch of trophies here, hopefully. And a whole bunch of records too. Really? Uh, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, okay, that's better. I'm getting confused between the trophies and the um, the actual in-game achievements, the records. Alright, what's left? We just need to complete the game on Inferno. Complete it with an S rank on Inferno. And kill a whole bunch of zombies. Although, look at that. That last playthrough was about uh, 340 or so. And I can purchase those now, but again, I don't think there's any value in doing so. The only thing I would guess, maybe, is an early, um, an early run to the Imitation Sapphire, so that we can get the gem and get the additional hit pouch. Apart from that, though, I don't really see any advantage in grabbing those. I mean, I will, but I don't see the advantage in doing so. I've never used this thing. This umbrella-developed anti-bioweapon knife is used by those who like to show off. The blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. An energy weapon developed by Umbrella based on airborne electrical phenomena. It possesses great stopping power, but only when targeting enemy weak points. Yeah, no, I'll just stick to the rocket launcher, thanks. Alright, so next time we'll take a look at Inferno.